the headless horseman here I'm just gonna do a quick video on ore sorting and uh, why I think Novo could uh, make more use of ore sorting than most operations uh, so here we have a presentation from Barker Will Gold uh, where they talk about uh, using ore sorting and here you can see uh, a scanned picture of some of the ore that's been uh, tested uh, for Barker Will and you can see the sulfides are in green which contains the gold and non-sulfide minerals in red so they want the uh, green and don't want to uh, pick up the red because they have to crush it and and process it and it will of course uh, just be uh, uh, basically added costs so I'm not totally sure which of all these would be uh, actually sorted what the cutoff grade might be etc but you can see that uh, a lot of these uh, that contain green also contain a bunch of red so let's say that uh, this would be considered ore for example I mean the ore to waste ratio in this fragment is pretty low and uh, this one this one uh, this one etc etc so basically you're they, they have to process uh, and waste money processing a lot of waste material because the gold is uh, disseminated uh, in the sulfides and uh, that's just how it is and that goes for most mining operations and uh, here you can see some of the preliminary results and what they consider to be the major implications for Barker will so transport cost understandable and again, if I just relate that to or compare that to Novo, uh, at Edgina, for example, uh, possibly we would have almost no pros, uh, transport cost because they would just basically uh, directly sort the gold and, and it wouldn't need to be moved anywhere and the waste material just goes right back into the ground. Mineral, mineral processing cost, I mean, it's probably a benefit for Barker will but uh, for Edina for example I mean it might be the only processing stage I mean in that in that case again I mean it's gonna be way more impactful for Novo I have no idea what this is uh, environmental implications I mean that's uh, all again uh, if you can compare it to Novo I mean Barker will uh, they'll have to use some chemicals and stuff like that to actually get the gold out of the sulfides and stuff and have a plant and mill and stuff like that but for Novo I mean no, possibly no chemicals almost no water requirement and uh, potentially very low environmental impact uh, depending on I guess how deep the root goes etc for the uh, limited vegetation out there in the Pilbara but anyway I mean uh, again uh, Barker will might see some added benefits and reduced costs and uh, higher margins and uh, be able to recover more gold uh, in absolute terms but I mean if you compare it to if you compare basically all these points no would basically blow them out of the water i mean lower capex they still would have to as i said build them mill and plant possibly not novo um, because first of all i mean the, the the milling has already been done uh, so i mean that's that that's just one point that you know uh, falls in the favor of no, if you would compare these on a head-to-head -head basis and that goes for basically every other point as well uh, here's another example of XRT uh, sorters what they see and here we see ore it's basically the blue stuff and you can see there's 
like low grade uh, standard ore and the high grade ore. I mean, there's still a lot of red in here. Uh, so I mean, it's probably as much waste as actual ore, I would say. And if you look at Again at Edina where it's pre-milled and uh, gold is basically just concentrated into nuggets. It's not disseminated, so it would look more like a uh, like a yeah basically a diamond mine. And here we have an XRT diamond detection system. And here you can see gravel. Basically, it's all pretty much all blue, and the diamonds just show up as uh, lumps of red. Uh, and these are diamonds found in gravel beds, so I mean that's uh, kind of fitting if you compare it to Edgina. And uh, here you can see that, okay, uh, they tested something like uh, a batch with 11 diamonds and two gravel particles. And uh, you can cl the machine clearly sees what is uh, gravel and what is uh, diamonds. Uh, and as you can read here, 100% of the gravel particles, particles classified correctly, 100% of the diamonds were classified and recovered. So basically, these are of course a bit coarser uh, uh, than, than we, I mean, we hope to be able to detect uh, much smaller particles at Edgina. But if, at, at, this, um, at this level of coarseness, uh, the machine recovered 100% of the diamonds. Which is kind of, I mean, that's kind of remarkable. And uh, here, when you read conclusions, uh, proven technology, over 200 sorters in mining, even though, I mean, if you listen to some of the bashers or profession, professional uh, opinion makers, they make it sound like this is some kind of hocus pocus technology that's never been used or. It's like a long shot or whatever. I mean, honestly, the more I read up on war sorting, it makes it uh, more and more obvious that uh, I think war sorting should work just fine. Because, I mean, it's not that it needs to detect some, I don't know, pathfinder element or secondary element or something that contains the gold. It just, you know, detects the actual gold. Uh, and uh, would spit it out um, unless they say physical storm process no chemicals heat uh, uh, tremendous opportunity for dry benefic uh, beneficiation of coal diamonds chromador so basically one might say that okay we have a dry deposit at Edgina and it's basically akin to sorting diamonds because of the nugget in nature at least the core stuff and i mean we we still i mean the trickier thing will be to uh, i guess sort the finds because that's that's not really a proven thing yet but but for the core stuff i mean i i personally have little doubt that they will be able to sort and process and uh, recover the coarse gold uh, close to I mean almost 100% recoveries which would of course be insane here's another uh, slide deck from um, some Merlin consulting uh, here you can see the same thing that okay you have these uh, these are almost totally barren barren these are massive sulfide so a lot of blue some red and this medium gray but again I mean you, you get some waste uh, along with the war and here is another one for XRT diamonds, uh, and this is what I mean. I, I think this is uh, akin to, I mean, uh, comparable to Edina, where you have a bunch of uh, bunch of barren gravels um, hitting the sorting machine, and then you have these just nuggety gold particles, basically that's almost pure gold. Because again, I mean, everything is basically pre milled, uh, or at least almost everything. So it will just detect this, spit it out, and will uh, you will capture a little of the waste. Uh, but if it's 
Finer, I guess they're gonna do a panel blow. I don't know if they're gonna do that with coarser stuff, uh, but anyway, I mean, the if they wanted to, I I bet they would be able to almost basically capture only the gold, at least in the coarse fractions. But otherwise, sure, you might get some small particles of gravel if you do a panel blow for fines. But at the same time, I mean. Uh, the the grade on that uh, concentrated um, uh, that sorting concentrate would be obscene anyway and I mean if if, if you're after the fine gold or uh, you want to I don't know separate that from some of the waste truck that got blown as well I mean then you just have to or you perhaps could just use an eddy current separator or something and run the sorted concentrate over that and um, basically have a second cleaning or something of the ore and here you can see some of the operations that currently use ore sorting so I mean again it's not uh, it's not some hocus pocus technology I mean this is all already in operation and I, I would assume that al almost all the operations that are using this technology doesn't have a Deposit the the a deposit that it that is as suited to ore sorting than a true nuggety gold deposit, uh, yeah, a gravel gold deposit, a placer. And for example, bluestone uh, bluestone resources are looking into including ore sorters in their processing flow sheet because they obviously they think it will or might give them some economic benefits but again I mean they would only insert ore sorting um, in some stage here I mean they still have to do all the all the rest just with a slightly higher grade I guess and possibly then higher gold production uh, if they ramp up the front end of this but still I mean uh, this requires chemicals capex Things can go wrong, uh, time to build, um, and all that. So, I mean, uh, again, if, if let's say, uh, for Novo, for example, if, if Novo could cut out all this from Edgina, I mean, again, we, we have heard, I mean, we have heard uh, some knowledgeable people say that... Uh, this could be really high margin stuff at Edgina and Quinton himself said it he would be fabricated if it came uh, in at over $10 per cubic meter or something. I guess that was for the processing uh, alone. But anyway, I mean, if that ends up being the case and honestly, I don't see, I don't see why that wouldn't be the case just from, or just, I mean, just based on the just based on the material you can read online on on this uh, stuff and uh, obviously most importantly the the testing that has been done so far i mean st the stein machines were able to detect some really really small nuggets and uh, just today uh this guy got a comment from quinton which uh, again stated that uh, some of these ore sorting companies believe they can possibly get it down to 0.1 millimeter. I mean, in that case, uh, I don't know how much of the... I mean, their, their recoveries could be very high. And, uh, and obviously it should be able to detect everything higher than that. So, I mean, imagine that the ore sorter would be able to detect uh, gold from 0.1 millimeter and upwards. I mean, it's just going to... Yeah, basically be be spitting gold because it would be like a like a diamond deposit and if it could detect very small diamonds uh, or in this case nuggets I mean I don't know how high recoveries we would be able to reach but I mean anyway uh, I, I and lastly I guess I would say that I think the the market is still too skeptical. Uh, 
I have little doubt that the ore sorters will work. I mean, then it's, uh, of course, uh, permitting and stuff uh, like that that's left and, and continuity. But I mean, if if we get costs uh, low enough, I mean, the cutoff grade might be extremely low. So in that case, I mean, that, that makes everything easier because then you don't even need to chase the high grade uh, swales etc so i mean that that's a, of course uh just a theoretical scenario right now but uh, i think honestly that the market and most market participants and perhaps including me are are uh, a bit too skeptical uh because i mean i I'm, I haven't been familiar with ore sorting before and I don't think many people are, uh, especially when you read the comments uh, uh, from bashers and stuff like that. I mean, they, they barely mention it and I, I know that they don't have an experience with them themselves. So, I mean, if if I think I'm possibly too, uh, I don't know, cautiously optimistic on all this and uh, that's saying a lot uh, then i can just imagine how uh, i don't know alien this might uh, be seen as for most outsiders and and bashers that uh, they think that this is some kind of i don't know uh, hyped hyped up uh, pumping effort or something that uh, basically is uh, like sci-fi stuff but I, I don't think so i think i think uh, just based on the, the fact that there's already 200 operations up and running with ore sorters and i again i bet that their deposits are way worse way worse for ore sorting relative to a nuggety gold deposit with free uh, with free milled or i mean free milling uh gravels i mean that's basically uh, uh, that's basically what the, this technique was made for to just sort out uh, uh, loose stuff and, and you know find uh, I don't know copper wires etc among uh, a bunch of junk it's not that uh, the copper w was melted together with something else and you'd have to scan or uh, yeah basically scan or sort for iron or whatever I mean if if the machine is able to detect gold, I mean, then it uh, can blow it. And I mean, we, we've already seen trial tests down to 0.4 millimeters. And uh, there will obviously be something, some things that are, will be influencing that. Like, I don't know, perhaps if it's, you know, if it's damp or, or I mean, depending on how thick the material is stacked, etc. But... At the same time, I mean, if you have two war sorters, you're gonna probably uh, configure one to uh, have, I don't know, higher throughput and larger particles, and then one for, let's say that the fine material is uh, making up 20% of the gravel, so okay, the, the fine sorter only needs to process 20% of the gravel, and then you can possibly have the belt speed set I don't know relatively low so the recoveries go up even further because it gives the computer a better chance to detect it and the and the actual uh, burst of air to uh, blow it in the right place um, yeah those were some late night thoughts um, I'm, I'm obviously very bullish on Novo and it's my largest position and uh, they are a banner sponsor of mine so I am probably biased so do your own due diligence and make up your own minds thank you